Alright, first before we start, I'm gonna explain generally about um, the importance of using UVB bulbs. And today's topics I'll cover are uh, mainly the, their usage for bearded dragons and other reptiles. So this discussion will mainly be based on my experience using them for bearded dragons, which can be also applied to other reptiles as well. But bear in mind, today's video I'll be comparing them to bearded dragons, alright? So let me start off with telling you guys the importance of using UVB for bearded dragons. Um, ultraviolet B barbs are not found in just any other barbs unlike the UVA. UVA, ultraviolet A, is found on any other barbs out there. But UVB, you will need a very um, specific barb designed just to emit the ultraviolet B rays such as this mercury paper bulb here by Exoterra all right solar glow comes in 80 watts and 125 watts and also 160 watts okay um it's very important for reptiles especially like bearded dragons also um, reptiles that like to bask a lot under the sun to have a uv bulb in their enclosure on for at least um, 6 to 12 hours a day depending on um, species itself. For bearded dragons, we normally do 12 hours a day. Okay, so what these bulbs do is that um, UVB helps the reptile metabolize the calcium that they uh, ingest all right, from their food. So how it does that is UVB helps the body of the reptile um, develop vitamin D3. Without vitamin D3 in their body, they cannot metabolize the calcium that they eat, alright? If you dust your bearded dragons, insects uh, like Dubia roaches, Turkistan, or um, worms, uh, crickets with um, calcium powder and stuff, they may not, you, you may find that if you don't use UVB, why your dragons still get metabolic bone disease, alright? That's because despite having calcium in their diet, their body is not unable to absorb, unable to metabolize the calcium, all right? And therefore, they do not get uh, a good use of the calcium that you actually gave them. So it's very important for you to use UVB in order for them to be able to absorb that calcium. Two, there are two ways to get vitamin D3 into your reptile's body, all right? One is via UVB, as mentioned. And another one is via supplement. You can get them from Exoterra's uh, multivitamins or the calcium plus D3. All right. From supplement itself, in my opinion, may not be enough. Another reason I don't really rely on supplement to give my bearded dragons um, vitamin D3 is also I do not want to overdose them with vitamin D3 because it's not really easy to just. I'm, you're not gonna measure each time how many, uh, how many, how much amount of vitamin D3 you give them each time. Especially you have a lot of dragons and a lot of reptiles to take care of, right? So the most important thing is I just give them very little, just in case they don't have vitamin D3, at least they have some. But the most important thing, in my opinion, is that I always have the UVB for them. That way, I let them, I let the nature take its course, give them what they need, just like nature, and their body will produce vitamin D3 by themselves without worrying about um, overdosage. All right. So that's the importance of using UVB for your reptiles. Now I'm gonna move on to discuss about a solar glow itself. All right. This one, solar glow bulb, is a mercury vapor bulb. Let me open one up for you to see. We have another one right here. I'm basically surrounded by all these bugs here. We have a lot in stock. So if you need them, do drop by and see me. All right, this is how they look like, okay? The 80 watts bug is slightly smaller than 125, but there we go. You have the Exoterra logo here. And as well as there is this date, I believe this is like, can you see that? 
like 12 slash 20 I believe this is the manufacturing um, the date that this part is manufactured which is December year 2020 so bear in mind when you're using this part because it's got a lifespan okay each time when you use them which is basically from 12 hours a day this bug generally and is advertised to last for at least six to eight months so every six to eight months you have to change to a new bug for solar glow it's very important when you open the packaging there is it comes with this little thing on top all right more exact this piece of paper right here okay please read the first paragraph which is in English what it says is that this bulb is designed with a few um, with its the item is fitted with thermal fuse all right it means this bulb comes with a thermal fuse already inside it okay what it does is that it's a safety feature in case the bulb goes overheated and stuff you will automatically off so don't worry if your bulb suddenly shut down for no reason it may be overheat okay so basically i get a lot of questions from my customers like why after i off the bulb and i own it again right after i off the bulb let's say i switch it off right now okay right now i switch it off and then a few seconds later i on it again and it it blickers and it doesn't on properly what you do is you off it again let it rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes just like mentioned over here all right 10 to 15 minutes and then switch it on again it will it will work beautifully again all right so there is no worries if you see this but solar glow blickering and not uh, functioning properly right after you off them you just let it sit and rest for a while it'll be back to normal and that's totally normal because it's designed that way remember it's designed that way okay a dead bug usually will turn dark colored in the front all right it will be very dark inside and you shake it you can actually see that the fuse inside is already broken and that's a dead bug if that happens it's um, spoiled already then you change a new one but if it doesn't it's just the thermal fuse doing its magic all right so another thing i would like to mention about the solar glow is that i get a lot of questions regarding um, whether you should use the exoterra's um, solar glow or the fluorescent bulb the long one okay the long t5 or t8 those um, uvbs from arcadia and uh, reptisan oh those are really really good bulbs but their price is almost it's more than double exoterra's price the good thing about those bulbs um, is that they are really good but you have to consider the value for money also you cannot expect um, the price for this for the other one for say for instance in malaysia here the solar glow goes for about um, 100 plus okay one 120 plus to 130 plus depending on the watts and then arcadia starts from a minimum price of 170 ringgit okay up to 190 ringgit for 24 watts um, there will be about 12 percent to 14 percent uvb all right that's that's one of the best part in the market so i wouldn't dispute that i would use it too but for now i'm going to discuss about solar glow and why it's still okay to use solar glow despite having the premium quality stuff in the market okay of course if you have the money and you feel that it's value for money and you believe in using the most premium item out there go ahead use anything you can find which you think should be the best for your dragon but for those of you out there I must stress that I'm talking about this for those of you out there who by whom for whatever reason may not have access to other brands for example Reptisan or Arcadia or, or any other things out there you may not you may live in a country or a city or a place that may not have access to such other alternatives or you may be on a budget then you have no choice but to get what you can get locally all right 
maybe that would be the Exoterra Solar Glow or the ex any other Exoterra box. Bear in mind that it's better still than no UVB. I've been breeding Bearded Dragons for about 10 years plus now um, without any problems using Exoterra UVBs. In my place where, I st where I'm staying, which is Kuching, Sarawak, uh, back then, 10 years ago, we can't really find Exoterra even in Kuching City, okay? We have to fly to Kuala Lumpur in West Malaysia just to get them and fly back over here. And they, to us, it costs quite a bit because back then, um, um, as newbies, we probably, it's already like 100 plus for a buck. It's like quite expensive already for us. So nowadays, we have Exoterra everywhere. It's, uh, we, we have Shopee and stuff. It's easier to send them via online shopping as well. But the only problem for us here in Kuching, Sarawak is that we don't have access to other brands such as Zoomat, Reptisan, Arcadia and all other brands. So we only have Exoterra right here. So for me, I have no choice back then, 10 years ago, but to use the Exoterra bus. And because of that, I have stuck with Exoterra bus uh, for 10 years plus now without any problems. My dragon grew up well, grew up healthy. None of them die on me unnaturally. They all die of old age. The only ones that don't die from old age, they die from inside the egg. That's quite normal as breeders. You see some eggs, they don't hitch. So I consider them dead as well. So other than that, we never experience, I never experience any dragons that go blind. I like what you may read out there in the internet. It all depends on how you use them. Every product got a way to, got, um, okay, put it this way. Every product, right, you have a very specific way of using it because they are manufactured by different companies, different people. So you have to, very important for you to read um, the stuff that comes with it, the, the, the direction of use, okay? Because every manufacturer designed their bulbs a bit differently. So the most important thing is the distance between the UVB bulb and your bearded dragon. How far apart do you place the bulb on top of their basking spot? You see, that's very important. Regardless of the um, brand that you are using, the distance is always very important. Place them too near, you might injure your eyes, it may be too hot for them, the UVB index may be too high for them, which is unhealthy for them. Just because they need UVB doesn't mean they need an overdose of UVB. So if you have the UVB gun to um, test out the UVB index, that's a plus also. But we normally don't rely on that stuff because like I said, 10 years plus ago, we don't even have those things here. So all we do is we just use whatever we can get our hands on. Alright, so in my experience, nothing wrong with this bug. It's been serving me well. My customer never have any complaints about it. And I'm overall very satisfied with it. It's very easy to use. It's very safe to use. My dragons love it and they're all healthy and nice. They've been giving lots of babies all this year round. And one of my oldest dragon is already nine years old. So he's also using this bulb. So no problem at all. If you have any doubts, um, just try it. It's not that expensive. Exoterra is actually very affordable and very valuable for money. And speaking of money, I would like to touch on um, the price of Exoterra versus other brands. All right. So you have, like mentioned, like I mentioned before, you have the more expensive brands out there. All right. I, this discussion right now, um, what I'm going to, what I'm going to talk about right now, is not to compare which product is better than the other. All right. So please, before I start. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Exoterra is better than the rest, or the rest is better than Exoterra, no. That's up to you to decide, alright? So what I'm going to touch on now is price. For those of you, like I said, like I mentioned before, who may be on a tight budget, alright? Price will be a matter you will consider, correct? Especially for students or young adults who just um, got a job and stuff, or other commitments to think about. Price is a matter for consideration, okay? So you want something that is value for money. Like I said, the Exoterra bulbs, they last typically from six months to eight months. Every six to eight months, you have to change them. So please bear in mind when you're calculating your budget, calculate yearly, and also when you are um, 
let's say if you accept you have access to other brands which are more expensive double the triple the price of an exoterra uvb please bear in mind the lifespan of the bulb as well for example there are brands out there may which may cost 170 to 190 ringgit but they are guaranteed to last up to one year okay one year so it's value for money even though they are more expensive than exoterra but they claim that they can last up to one year exoterra spark lasts up to only six to eight months but how i do it is very simple i don't just go see one year versus six months eight months no i calculate with my calculator by average you know like six months let's say um 100 ringgit for six months versus 170 for one year which one may be more affordable which one may be more value for money versus the quality of the bug itself all right so keep that in mind and that's all your opinion different people may judge things differently but this is just my opinion this is just how i shop for my things if i'm given the chance to buy any other brands i will just buy them just to try it out not necessarily because i feel that they are better or less so they are all actually just the same to me uvb as long as they are produced by um uh, reputable companies they put it that way with quality control over their products um, as long as the company is um, in the industry for more than 10 years they know what they're doing they're accountable for what they're doing the most important thing to me when i choose a company to buy from is that they are uh, accountable for their products okay i i wouldn't try something that is like uh, from, from a new company that just pop up from nowhere or um, what do you call that um, rebranding you know taking from china and then just put your own brand in it and then just sell it for the fraction of the price i wouldn't go into that sh that stuff there because i wouldn't want to risk my bearded dragon's health over something like that so I will stick on Exoterra, Zoomat, Arcadia or any other brands out there that are very reputable. And in this video, it's all about Exoterra because that's what we have right here in Kuching, Sarawak. So, and they are also the most affordable UVB bulb out there right now, which is value for money and which is very good. No problem at all. All right. So if you guys need UVB bulbs and if you're in Kuching, Sarawak, don't forget to drop by Evermore Pets. You can come here and talk to me if you have any questions out there or any suggestions. Please don't forget to leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video and if you find it helpful or interesting, you want to share with your friends and family, fellow um, hobbies, keep reptiles, don't forget to share this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm gonna wrap this up now. Goodbye, see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.